Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxis with one more video covering Asset Forge. And today we're going to talk about exporting your Asset Forge model into Unity 3D. Now, there are a couple of problems you may encounter when you export um, your models and import them into Unity. And the two most common issues I've faced where I forget something is when I get the model but I don't get any color or any texture and the second issue might that might occur is I get the color and the model but I don't get the patterns on those textures and so you can see here this ship I've created which I call the GR Blazer um, it has a yellow window with this honeycomb pattern and these black and green engines and the black and green body uh, and the green has all these stripes and with this model what we're going to do is a five-step process to make sure that we get all the color, the model, and the patterns into Unity. And so, the very first step I recommend, not required, but I would strongly recommend this, is to create a whole new folder for storing your export. And so, I have my GR Blazer saved here in this folder, but I'm going to create a new subfolder for it, and I'm going to call this GR Blazer as well, and I'm going to leave the space out of it. The next step, second step, is to go and export your model by clicking on 3D Model in the top right. And once you get to this point, you're going to see the file format is OBJ. You should keep it on that. If it's not on that, go ahead and click over. You know, you'll see FBX or OBJ, so get, click to OBJ. Merge blocks, this doesn't really matter. You can do either one. Your textures, if you have patterns that you've applied and not just colors, you'll want to export your textures. And now we'll want to save our file. This is the third step and the most important step if you want the color to apply correctly. We're going to go into that new file that we've created or that new folder, open that, and now we're in there. This is the most important step. You cannot forget this. Name your file but do not put any spaces in it. I do not know why, but if you put a space, it's not going to save any of the color or the texture information at all. So, once we have that done, we can go back and look at that new folder, and in that folder you should now have an OBJ, an MTL for material, and a texture that has those patterns. So, the fourth step is to open up Unity, and I already have kind of a, a little scene set up here in Unity. And then lastly, you can take either the folder or the entire contents of that folder and drag them into the Unity asset pane here. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag the folder itself. And you can see GR Blazer. If you get this and you see that little icon there and it doesn't have any color, that you might want to check to make sure you did not put a space in the name. So, that was the last step, fifth step, just dragging it in there. And now, once you have the model, you can just drag it in there and I'll see, you know, I might move this forward a little bit. But you can see, we have the model exactly as we created it in Asset Forge in Unity. And it's just that easy. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time.